What up, Wayfinders? Welcome to the Wayfinder Training Force, where I try to keep you updated on all things that are Wayfinder. So guys, if you are like me, and you just skimmed right through the story as soon as you downloaded the game, uh, to level up as fast as you could, and then only to find out later you can't replay those quests, and you missed some important lore, well guys, I repurchased the game, and I went through it. So if you're watching this, this is going to be an episode from my Seeker series, where not only do we go through the quests, but I'm going to go through all of the lore behind each quest line as well. So we're going to dive in deep to the artifacts, to the relics, to the equipment, and we're going to read all of the locations. We're going to look at some of the sculptures. I'm going to give you all of the knowledge on the characters that I have. Now we're going to deep dive into this thing, and it's going to be fun, you guys. Can't wait. Let's get started. All right, guys. So for this run through, I decided to go with Nis. Uh, and the reasons are is because she's a member of the Eldrin and they have one of the first stories to develop. So she'll be the most interesting as we start here in the beginning. I wait in the shadows. We lived in an age of wonders. We wove magic into steel and shaped the elements with our words. And yet, even in this golden age, there were stories of cities falling to darkness. All right, guys. So first thing we got here is a ge little geography lesson. So the world all this is happening on is the world of Evanor. And in Evanor, before the gloom fall, there were three main powers or three empires, essentially. So the first one you have is the Avar Imperium, which is where Wingrave comes from. And Skylight is under the rule of the Avar Imperium Empire. Okay. And the sworn enemies of the Avar Imperium, we have the Maze, which is where Venomous comes from. And then all the way on the other side of the world, you have the Dominion of the Seven Winds, which is where Senya hails from. And as far as we know, Skylight's the only place that's up and running after the Gloomfall. And thousands of years before any of these empires took power, you had the Kingdom of Ashes, which is where Kairos comes from. And nobody knows what happened to the Kingdom of Ashes. Did they fall to the Gloom? They, nobody knows. They just disappeared right off the face of the Earth. Of a force reaching from the shadows... We didn't believe them until it came for us. The beacons had always been a part of our world. We never knew who created them or that someday they would return. We must get to the beacon. So over here, all the way in the corner, there's this dark figure, and that is Arsenal. You know, your weapon blacksmith. If you go around town and you start talking to people, they'll tell you more about her, and she's got some pretty cool lore. This is foul magic. Silo, clear a path. On it. Horns, anger issues. Remind you of anyone? Shut up and fight. There are too many. Make for the gate. We're through. What now? Now, Wingrave, we light the beacon. Somehow, these markings... I can do this. But I'll need some time. Precursor! We have to buy her some time! False one! This is 
vengeance for my people. Yes! I am sorry. No! Just a little longer. Damn. We are so close. You've done it. The light. Your gods are dead. Your world is ours. Alright, so here we finally start the Heart of Darkness quest, where we wake up disoriented and find Omen breaking through the gloom just long enough to hand us a shard. I remember. I am Nis, the Blade of Shadows. My people are the Deep Eldren, ancient and wise. Forgotten by the world above. But they have been lured down a dark path by treacherous spirits. Now this is just a theory, but that's because if you look at the description of the Eclipse, it says, This weapon was forged in the vaults of the Deep Eldrin, and infused with the power of shadow, it yearns to consume light and life. When my clan refused to kneel, our people turned against us. Only I survived. Now this darkness is swallowing the world. But it cannot conquer me. I am the Blade of Shadows. And I will bring death to false gods who have broken this world. So when we go back and look at Nissa's bio, we can see that the Deep Eldrin are a dying people whose essence fade with each generation, and they were approached by the Mother of Shadows, and we have yet to know if the Mother of Shadows is an architect, or if she's a precursor, or something entirely different. And an interesting fact here as well is that Nis remembers challenging the Mother of Shadows, but she doesn't remember any details because she lost her memories when she died. And for a final piece of bonus information, the epitaph was also forged by the Mother of Shadows. So it'll be interesting to find out who she is. Praise the architects. I thought we'd lost you. We need to get you back to Skylight. There's no time to explain. You're trapped within the gloom, but with that shard you can cut through the shadows. You must move quickly. I will guide you as best I can. So we have an interesting choice of words here. It says you must move quickly before it senses your presence. Now later, when you get into Skylight and you talk to Corbin, who keeps the records, he talks about the anchor in the Lost Zones, and he says it can sense your presence, and when it's threatened, it will summon more husks or heralds. Interesting.
It is so good to see you again. I thought we'd lost you forever. Don't worry. Your memories will return, in time. That battle took place a year ago, and you were lost in the gloom. We've been trying to bring you back ever since. Let me show you. The Eldrin attack was a distraction. The beacon was always the target. We pushed past them and found the creature who was leading the attack. And you did what needed to be done. You fought to the bitter end. And your sacrifice bought me the time we needed. There's so much we don't yet know about the beacon. But its power protects this city. It destroyed our enemies and stopped the Gloom Tear from expanding. We couldn't close the Gloom Gate. But as long as the beacon remains lit, our enemies can't pass through it. And in the year that followed, we've studied it. Learned more about this gloom. Learned how to bring you back. We survived thanks to you. But the damage is done. Skylight is safe and the land around it. But beyond the highlands, reality is collapsing into the gloom. There may be other beacons, other places that repel the invaders. The only way to find out is to cut a path through the gloom. And for that, we need Wayfinders. We need you. That's it for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe so that way you can stay tuned in for more in the future. And as always, until next time, Wayfinders.